Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's almost the end of January and that means it is time for the monthly Blu-ray haul. I am very excited to show you what I've been picking up as well as being gifted in the month of January. I am so thankful to all of you that gave me something. You do not have to, but also I have a little surprise purchase that I have that I have not shown you yet. So I'm going to debut this here in this video right now. But also stay tuned until the very end of the video because I will be giving away my digital codes for a big thank you to all of you that watch my videos and support my channel. So make sure you stay until the very end to find out how you can get your own free digital code. So let's get started with the surprise purchase. And that is... Bum, 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 bum. It is the Columbia Classics Volume 2 4K set. Oh, I'm in love with this. Mama Blu-ray bought this one for me because remember a few weeks ago on that discount Blu-ray video when I made you aware of the big sale for this when there was an extra like $14 off and you could pick this up for about $75? Oh yeah, that's when Mama Blu-ray picked it up for me. So there's six movies in here. This is an awesome set. As you can see, it's so glossy. The ring light is reflecting off of it. Maybe I should put it like that. This is an amazing box set. I'm going to show you all the movies individually because they're so glossy and shiny for the slip covers. You have to see them really quickly. But this is a great, awesome set. You have the little pictures right on the side so you can see what movies you're getting. So in this box set is Anatomy of a Murder, Oliver, Taxi Driver, Stripe, Sense and Sensibility, and The Social Network. I had two of these on Blu-ray already, but the other four I did not even own. So to have all six on a 4K format for about $75 was really a no-brainer for me. So this is fantastic. There are digital codes for this. However, I'm going to save that for the 6K subscriber giveaway. So we got about 300 more people. We, we need to join the Movies and Sue family. And then I will be mailing out some digital codes as the prize. So do not ask for this when it comes time for the digital codes at the very end because I'm saving those for the subscriber giveaway. But really quickly, I wanna show you what this box set looks like on the inside, because it is pretty nice and I do recommend. So when you open it up and it opens up like this, you know, open, whoop, like this, you have the Columbia background, which is really cool. There's a book back there. And then here's where the movies go. That's where the movies go. But I'm gonna show you those independently. I should, probably should have done an unboxing, but I saved this as a surprise for this video. So here we go. Here's what the six movies look like because they are so gorgeous, the slip covers. So we have Sense and Sensibility. Look at that. It is phenomenal looking. So Sense and Sensibility, definitely going to be a February watch because this is romance. And they all have a little quote on the back of the slip cover. So there we go. Then we have the social network with that quote. There we go. And we have stripes with that one. Then taxi driver. There we go. Anatomy of a murder. And finally, Oliver is the last one. So that is what the Columbia Classics Volume 2 box set looks like. That is such a mouthful. But I wanted to quickly show that to you a little bit in depth. I probably should have done an unboxing for it, but I wanted it to be a surprise. What can I say? So that was the big purchase. So thank you again, Mom, for getting that for me. I truly, truly do appreciate it all classic films that anyone and everyone should have in their collection. Okay, so let's move on to the Steelbooks. What did I get for Steelbooks this month? Let's move on to Halloween Kills. Wasn't the best movie, gotta admit, but I had to pick up that Steelbook. Then I have Juice. There we go. A fantastic looking Steelbook. Good old Lionsgate, Requiem for a Dream. Oh my God, the colors are amazing. I'm digging the blue, like aqua, blue, green color. It's amazing looking. And then also this past week was The Punisher. So this one looks fantastic as well. Lionsgate is totally stepping up their game. I believe they're also the ones putting out the Hunger Games box set. Did you guys see that? Ooh, if you have not, go over to Best Buy and pre-order it right now because it is 
gorgeous. Let me tell you. Next up, I got Fast and Furious 3 Tokyo Drift. This was from, I believe, Marius in a subscriber unboxing. I needed two, three, and seven, and he sent me number three. So thank you so much. So now I need two and seven, and I will have the entire Fast and Furious franchise on Steelbook format. So this was much appreciated. Thank you. Very much so. But this next one from JRP. <sighs> I died. I almost cried and I died when I opened this up. This was one of the steel books I regretted not pre-ordering because you could not find this anywhere. Not even online at Best Buy. Not to order it after it came out. When this came out, it was gone. And when it was gone, it was gone. He told me he randomly found this in his store. Someone put it back in a wrong section and he knew that I needed it and he picked it up for me. So JRP, I will forever be grateful to you for sending this one to me. Thank you so much. And there is the back. I love the yellow. It looks really awesome. And plus, I'm just looking forward to watching it because it's been so long since I've seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit. So that's definitely going to go back to the nostalgia of my childhood. He also sent me Godzilla. This is the one with Matthew Broderick, and I've never seen this one. Get ready for a cool back. Look at that. That is pretty awesome. I love how that looks. So that is great. Two more steelbooks. One week, it was really lackluster. I believe it was the first Tuesday of January, and it really wasn't happening with the new releases. So I went over to FYE, and I picked up Tremors because they were having a steelbook sale. I got this for $6.99. And then I picked up Tommy Boy, another yellow steelbook to show off in the collection. So this one... I believe it got rumored for a 4K release. It figures. I picked this one up and then it's rumored for a 4K. Not sure if that's going to come out or not, but if not, then I have it on Steelbook. If it does come out on 4K, I'm probably going to pick it up anyway, most likely, knowing myself because the sickness is real. All right, move over those Steelbooks. Now we're getting into the 4Ks. Let's get into the 4Ks. 4Ks, what did I get? Whoops. All right. Picked up last night in Soho. I'm really looking forward to watching this one. I've heard mixed reviews from a lot of people. It seems like this one, either you love it or you hate it or you don't really understand it or it's kind of complicated. So I'm curious to see what my response is going to be to this film. So I'm looking forward. Honestly, part of the reason why I'm putting this video out a couple of days early before the end of the month is because I want to watch this <laughs> because I save these movies until after I do my Blu-ray haul. So now all these movies are up for grabs for me to watch. So I've been wanting to watch this one. So maybe tonight, this will be the night to watch Last Night in Soho. So if you know, if you want to know my process, that's how I work. Okay. I'm keeping juice. I'm keeping juice on 4K. If you guys don't know the story, I picked this one up in the store because I didn't find the steelbook. And then I ended up buying the steelbook on Amazon. And I was thinking about taking this one back, but I decided to keep it. So I will have two digital codes available for Juice, just to let you know. Two digital codes. I picked up They Live because one week, I believe it was the first week that I went, there wasn't anything major. So I decided to pick up They Live because I missed out on that title before. And I picked up Collateral on 4K. I was thinking and I was like, eh, do I pick it up? Do I not? So when I saw this with the slipcover, that's kind of what sold me. It had the slipcover and it was only $16.99. So I decided to grab it. And then this cover was just calling to me, even though I already have it on Steelbook. I don't know. I just wanted it. It just, it, it was like, buy me, Susan, buy me, pick me up. This is a great slipcover. And it was only $14.99. So that's not too bad. I had gift cards to spend from the holiday, so why not? And we are off of the 4Ks, now going into the regular Blu-rays with slipcover. We have Candyman, Day of the Dead. <laughs> How do I go from, like, great movies to Candyman, Day of the Dead? I know this is not a great movie. I'm already I'm already aware. I am, I'm fully aware that this is not a good movie. But this slipcover is in perfect condition, and it looks pretty great. And for only, you know, less than $13... You can't really beat that. So I will take it. All right. What do I have for other slipcovers? I have Kidnap. This was from, I believe, Jasmine when she sent this to me as a subscriber unboxing. So Jasmine, there we go with Kidnap. And then I have Lion. 
a double feature of the Muppets. So we have Muppet Treasure Island and the Great Muppet Caper with a awesome like holographic like ooh, ooh, party at the club like slip cover. There we go. Totally digging that. And then the dry. And apparently this one is very good as well. So I'm looking forward to watching this one. And I guess it was a book. I did not realize it was a book. All right, let's move on to some regular Blu-rays. Let's get this video going. Okay, so Jasmine sent me like the Marilyn Monroe collection. And I'm so thankful to her because last night I watched Some Like It Hot for the first time. I loved it. We were cracking up laughing. So I definitely want to watch more Marilyn. So I'm all set. She got me uh, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. There we go. How to Marry a Millionaire. Niagara. The Seven Year Itch. There's No Business Like Show Business. And Bus Stop. So I'm looking forward to watching all of these. Because after seeing her in Some Like It Hot, I, I really want to know more about her filmography and, and how she was. I think she played kind of the same, same character just a little bit, but I'm looking forward. She was a lot of fun. Okay, so I feel like the biggest dumbass in the world because I did my entire Western movie collection and I forgot one of the biggest Westerns because it was in this pile and I forgot to pull it out. And that's Tombstone. So Tombstone, you can add into my Western movie collection. So there we go. Then I also picked up Spaceballs, Birdman, The Mechanic, because I have the second one, but not the first one. So now I do. And then finally, Charlie's Angels. I mean, come on. It was one of those deals at FYE, buy one, get the other one half price. So that's the reason why I picked this one up, because... Three kick-ass chicks. I gotta have this on Blu-ray. Okay. Last, last pile. All right, we're getting there. From Gus. This is from Gus. Thank you, Gus. I have the talented Mr. Ripley, as well as the Lego Batman movie. Then Ladder 49, I believe from, I forget who this is from. I think Jasmine as well. Subscribers, you're amazing. I picked up Gone in 60 Seconds. Got to have more Nicolas Cage and Angelina. So that's a plus as well. All right. Double pack of About Last Night and St. Elmo's Fire. Had to. It was only $8.99 on Amazon. Had to pick it up. Kindergarten Cop. And I wanted to upgrade my Tomb Raider movies because I picked them up at Big Lots and they were really cheap. The cases are falling apart and I wanted to upgrade to 4K anyway. So I picked up double pack of the 4k of the Tomb Raider movies with Angelina. Last few movies. Here we go. And then we'll get to the digital code. So I picked up Stand By Me. It's been a really long time since I've seen that movie. I think only in bits and pieces too. Never from beginning to end. So I'm looking forward. Liar, Liar. Yes, I picked up Liar, Liar. This recently came out a few Tuesdays ago, I believe. So I will be watching this very soon. We need to laugh with my mom's recovery. So we need to do some laughing this week. Picked up Spencer on the opposite end. Very, very serious. And also Mass. So I'm probably going to want to get the noose ready. No, I'm just kidding. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Bad joke, Susan. Bad joke. But I heard great things about this movie. It is extremely serious. Award season should have been contender, but it's not getting recognized whatsoever. Who knows for the Oscar, but other award shows, it's not. And finally, looking forward to watching this one, Alice, Sweet Alice. Ooh, I've heard things about this one. And as a horror fan, I really want to be watching this one. So that is everything that I picked up or was gifted in the month of January. But now we have to get into those digital codes. And I have them right here. Not as big of a stack, I gotta say. I kind of held back this month. I picked up less than 50 titles. So that's really good for me because I'm usually hovering around 100 and it's kind of embarrassing. So I really backed off this month. And a lot of these were gifted to me, so I really didn't spend that much. All right. So here's the rules of how to get a digital code. Follow me over on Twitter. Only Twitter. I'm not... The past couple of times I have been... I have been accepting requests off of Instagram, but now this is Twitter only because it's it's just easier for me to stick to one app instead of going back and forth because it's just, it's time consuming, if you know what I'm saying. So just create a Twitter account, 
follow me on there, direct message me what movie code you're the most interested in. Always have a backup because if your first choice is not available, then I can give you your backup choice. Give me two or three options, whatever you want to do. And if I don't have it, I will let you know. There's only one per person, and I cannot guarantee that all of these are going to work. However, most of them should because they're primarily the new releases. So here's what I have up, up for grabs for digital codes. Are you ready? Here we go. I have the Tomb Raider double pack. You'll get both movies, okay? I have The Punisher. I have the two copies of Juice. Requiem for a Dream. Halloween Kills. I have Birdman. Lion. Candyman, Day of the Dead. Everyone wants that one. You know that. Collateral. Do the right thing. I always say it like that. I don't know why. Last Night in Soho. Godzilla. And last but not least, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. So there we go. That is the monthly Blu-ray haul for the month of January. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below and I'll see you next time.